Good morning. Welcome to Presence of Light with Charlie Riverman Bridgeron here on Humanity Healing Facebook. It's a beautiful new day for each of us wherever we are around the world, whether it's daytime or evening or in the middle of the darkness of, of night, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that each of us are here, existing and living on planet Earth at the same moment. And today's talk is about honesty and truth. And that which I just said is honesty and truth, that each one of us is very important to each other. It's just that we have forgotten that oneness, that through separation, we have chosen to live lives that are not in full honesty and truth. And so that's my little talk this morning. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, uh, Afif. Good morning. Um, bless you all. I see that you're arriving. And uh, Bruce from Kansas, good morning. So this, this talk about honesty and truth um, was a, a surprise for me this morning when I still hadn't really thought about what the message was going to be for us today. And as I share with you, these shows are messages for me as well as for you. It's not it's not all about me and it's not all about you. It's about us. It's about we. On how my whole life changed as a result of a near-death experience to try to come and understand my own truth and uh, not be fearful of expressing it and not be... Uh, limited by what others would tell me that how I should feel or how I should think or that my brain wasn't functioning properly or that I had an emotional uh, distress, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right now, in the course of humanity's evolution, each of us are being called to really deepen our, into ourselves and seek for the truth within us. And then to be honest with ourselves, to trust that truth and to act in accordance with it. So this morning I awakened at 7.47. And I said, okay, 747, here's the airplane going over my head. It, you know, literal, not literally, but in my mind, this airplane, and it's like you're taking off, Charlie, or you're going somewhere. Where are you going? So I look up the angel numbers, as I always do. Um, and interestingly, uh, it, it spelled out like this, seven, discernment understanding, inner self, awakening. Well, I was awakening physically, and I'm also awakening spiritually. Uh, seven also is encouragement of working towards goals, truth, and integrity, building solid foundations. And here we are in this time of change in the world, where truth and integrity seem to be, wow, in leadership, not seen. Um, 
it's hard to distinguish. It seems like a lot of selfishness and a lot of greed and a lot of um, denial and not owning up to their full responsibilities or their miscarriages of justice. And the foundations of our society seem to be crumbling. And so were they built on shifting sand? So 747 really is a confirmation, a confirmation of each of us seeking to achieve an excess, uh, successful and encouraging us a successful life and encouraging us to um, start speaking and seeking our truth and our honesty and expressing it. Miami listening, hello, Charlie and the world, God bless you, Nicole, thank you, good morning to all of you arriving. So this honesty and truth is something that we, each one of us, are, are f very familiar with. And when we look within ourselves, we can see um, the trail of tears, so to speak, of how many times uh, we've not lived in integrity or we've not lived in our truth or we not didn't express it and what the uh, outcome was. And so this too hinders uh, our ability to see our own spiritual growth and development because we have this field of negativity that we're looking through and it's hard for us to really say, wow, I don't think I'm really accomplishing anything in my spiritual growth or I'm not really achieving my deep inner heart's desires. And it's very challenging because at that moment we feel like we're the tiny point within the circle. And that circle just seems to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And we ask ourselves, how can we get through this? How can we break through this smallness, this feeling of insecurity, this feeling of uh, fearful thinking, this feeling of inadequacy? And the truth is, none of you are inadequate. Each one of you have amazing gifts that are to be presented to the world as only you can do that. This is what I'm learning. This is what other people that I um, speak to in person are learning. And in small groups, we're encouraging each other to, to stand up and, and be that honesty and be that truth and move through the fear of it and move through the lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes or where where people have been persecuted and been made martyrs for speaking the truth and so it doesn't mean that this is going to happen to us this is the history of humanity we are here now to change the history of humanity and we're here to fully embrace the inner power and grace of who we are. So as I said, all of this presenting uh, external energy, presenting itself to us, um, begins to overwhelm us. Um, and our, what I would call our, our energy spectrum, is continually being uh, manipulated or distorted. And so this inner being, this inner energetic divine being that we are, is almost automatically 
challenge to focus on managing all of this happening. And what I went through in the last week was really a place to come and be still and be open uh, and openness and and how do we express that openness to all that's happening and live in our honesty and our truth so yesterday morning um i've not had much time to be on social media this week uh, due to all of this external energy creating an internal disturbance but the message was be begin again and again and again in the beginning we are one and i took a deep breath and i said do i put that out there what does that mean etc and what i realized that in the beginning we are we are love before we come here before we enter into these bodies, before we enter into this physical plane of existence, we are love. This is what my death taught me, that I was love. And yet when I come back into this body, I'm fearful of being that. And I began again. So in that moment, my life was taken away. My life was given back in this physical body. I got to begin again. And what I've noticed is that I've begun again and again and again. And this message was from my angels and guides to remind me that it doesn't matter so much that we stray away from the center point of who we are, this being of peace, light, and love. But when we stray, we have the gift and opportunity to come back to the beginning again, to restart, to begin again. And But every time we begin again, we're going to begin at a point that's further along in our spiritual path. We're not going to go all the way back to zero point. It may feel like that. <laughs> Many times we feel like, wow, it's like, I can't do this. It's just too much ahead of me. I, you can, because that what we're doing is reestablishing every time we begin again, a new zero point. And that zero point is the beginning. And we move on from that beginning. And the thing to remember is in that beginning, we are one. We are all in this together. There is no separation. We have the power of the universe, the power of that which we call supreme being and guidance creator. It's all there for us to tap into. And as we move down that road, we are distracted. We are distracted by everything around us and we forget and we get sidetracked and we get taken off focus. And in that moment, we become dishonest and untruthful to ourselves. We start to think, oh, I want this over here. I want this over. because they're attracting. The, the attraction is so powerful. And that we forget that the main purpose for us to do is to show up as love. To express ourselves as loving beings. To manifest that. To bless everything around us by our presence. So, this is the message this morning. And the message of love came on this card here 
Um, you can see it. This is one of those um, sacred meditation cards, galactic meditation cards. And, and it's love. Love is the life current that flows through the universe. Love flows through the universe. We come in on that flow. We are universal beings. This current fills my heart as I surrender my will to God's will. That's their writing. Remove the word God. Whatever you believe in is your supreme and sovereign creator, your source. This isn't about religion. This isn't about esotericism. This is about us letting go and being open to us, honoring ourselves in our actions, in our words, in our communication with others. This is how we're going to change humanity and bring it back into a cohesive field of energetic resonance. And we can't hide this from each other. We can set up roadblocks so it can't be seen. We can put, it, put screens up. Uh, I'm seeing the Wizard of Oz behind the screen. We can, we can put things in front of us so nobody can get through to it. And it's very painful sometimes when we open this heart of ours and allow it to fully express what isn't tainted by our minds, but just this pure, unadulterated love and compassion. It hurts. That's why we shut it down. We, we block it. We've been hurt so many times from even within the womb. Even within the womb. And we've expressed that every time. And what we do with that is we stuff it down and it's time now to open it up, open ourselves up and let that pain escape and bless it. Bless its release. I set you free. I set you, every hurt in my body, I set you free. Because as I set you free, I set myself free. We are the ones who are keeping ourselves in bondage. And so when I talk about honesty and openness, we need to look for honesty and openness in others. They're our mirror. So Let's take a look at the others around us and ask ourselves, what is the honesty, the truth, and openness in them? So take a look at somebody you love, somebody close by, somebody that you know, and, 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 and ask where... Where is the honesty and openness? Can I see the honesty, the truth, and the openness in them? Because they're our mirror. Each of you are my mirror. I'm your mirror. And when I look in the mirror of you, I see the same challenge and struggle that I go through in becoming truthful and honest at a greater rate than I am now. And I see your suffering as my suffering. And so the honesty and openness is sometimes hard to find at first.
And so in the scrolling here, I just wanted to touch base with you because I get so wrapped up in my own story here. Um, you give me hope. You are hope for me. Each one of you are hope for me as I see your shifting and changing. And this is the mirror image. We're just mirroring each other. And when we change our attitudes and our way of, of, of dealing with life, we don't know who we change, who we encourage. I co-parent with a narcissist and I've let love win in my life. Love is who you are. In owning that love, you become the winner because you are now connecting to the truth, the honesty, and the openness within you even though others don't respect it or don't honor it. It isn't about them. It isn't about us seeking acceptance from them as much as it's accepting, it's seeking acceptance in ourselves. <sighs> Uh, good question, Sarah. Why did you give me such a big heart? Because it is not easy at times. Because you are a big heart. The body is just the protection of the heart. It's just the outer surface of the heart. We are just these giant hearts these giant beings, giant love manifestors, love machines. I know it sounds crazy, sounds uh, silly, but sometimes it's, it's in our silliness. When we become silly, we're being open. We're being honest, aren't we? And how many times when we were silly, and um, expressing that open. Somebody came and went, bam. Let me talk about narcissists. Narcissists. I never get that pronunciation right. But what did they do to us? Slam that door. It's all about them. It's all about them. They steal our energy and then turn it around and use it to make us feel little and small and insignificant. This is what I'm talking about is honesty and openness within ourselves. As we looked around, you don't see much honesty and openness in many people. Why? Fearfulness, they've been trained to fear. They've been trained to be quiet. They've been entrained lifetime after lifetime, society after society to not stand up and honestly speak from their hearts. So the love card here says affirmations will be, I recognize my own value and live with self-love. Only then can I reflect back to others the love I feel within. And yes, we're gonna get that slapped around and we're going to be sometimes punished for that, but keep going. Thoughts of love draw other thoughts of love so we become love magnets when we can attract we can bring forth that love energy it will attract love but it can't attract love if it's under a ton of rocks and a ton of bricks 
It will, but it's just tiny, tiny, tiny bit. We want to open, remove all that away from our heart so that we are living at our full radiance, the full capacity of our love radiance. I embrace the world with an open heart. That's a painful thing to do, isn't it? Even our own small worlds, is it's hard to really um, let go all the time. We find ourselves uh, opening our heart, shutting it, opening it. I can open it with this person, but I've got to close it with that person. So you see, this process of honesty and openness and truth is really uh, hard, challenging, difficult in this physical form. But the key is, is to remember that on our highest level of receiving information, it's pure, it's clean, it's unadulterated. It's ours to tap into and bring through, bring through, through this mind. Seek it, make it, drill a hole if you have to. Physically imagine drilling a hole where it gets through this thinking matter that goes right to your heart. Make that direct connection from your heart to your highest self, bypassing the mind. The mind is the filter that confuses everything. It serves a great purpose, but it's not who rules and guides our life. It's only we who have surrendered our true authority to it. And it's time now to tap into that true authority, that love, that we are and honor that and express that and the last affirmation is uh my passion is fueled by god's love and that's what we are is an expression of god's love we're an expression of god's light and we're an expression of god's peace and that's what it's calling so just take a breath, the deep inhale, bring it down into your lower abdomen, your Dan Chen. Release it softly, knowing that we're being called into a place of light and peace. And then that place, and from that light, that place, we are being asked by our higher selves to begin to bless all that is not perfect love and to share our perfect love with it to assist it in its own flowering process and as i go i read the holiest of all the spots on earth is where an ancient hatred has become a present fear uh, that's a card from a course in miracles from Galia's soul inspirations in embracing the fullness of who we are. We find peace for every emotion is an invitation to another path. Discovering our deeper beings, our souls will not let us escape from our truth 
And so here we are, honesty, openness, and truth. And what I find in my own path is the power of blessing others has a remedial effect on me that bypasses my consciousness. Because in my own selfishness, I want the blessings to be about me. I want people to bless me. And, I, and we do this, we ask for blessings. But what I learn in blessing the earth and blessing the water and blessing other things around me, the, mess, the blessings automatically come to me. They come through me. And we become part of this cycle of energy that is love. So I'm going to close with um, some quotes here on blessing. Uh, in her book, The Healing Secrets of the Ages, Catherine Ponder writes, Bless the world around you unselfishly with divine order. As you do so, you release the power of order into the atmosphere to do its perfect work. Look for, expect, and give thanks for divine order, often. By doing so, you release one of your most important mind powers to work for you and through you to bless yourself and mankind. How to deal with suffering? Bless it. Bless it. Bless those who are creating the suffering in you. Bless them. Bless everything. Seeking acceptance in ourselves. Yes. We are these amazing gifts to each other. And in blessing each other and coming together and honoring that love in each other, everything changes. And so here's a, the last excerpt is from the invisible divine order behind everything. And it's, a, it's part of a blessing. And this part I will leave you with. I bless the amazing divine order in nature. From the tiniest, tiniest molecule to the rolling of the galaxies in our stupendous universe. I bless the divine order in my life and that of my neighbor, you, my friends here on Humanity Healing. Even when, to the human sense of things, this order is all but apparent. I bless the divine order that is leading the whole of humanity through the many upheavals present, and probably to come to the win-win paradigm which will finally give birth to that world which works for all, which is our divine destiny and so yes honesty truth and openness is part of our divine destiny how can we overcome all of these infractions all of these separations all of these all of this pain and suffering to live in our divine presence as beautiful souls. I love you all. I bless you all. I thank you all. May your week be one of seeking honesty and truth within yourself. And allow the mirrors, the other people around you, to reflect where you're not being honest and where you're not being truthful with yourself and you're not being open. They're a gift to us, a painful one, I understand. But if we look at them and use, utilize them to be the mirror of where we're failing in within ourselves, then we can better respond 
to that inner self that's crying right now to be free. Bless you all. Thank you all. You have a great week. I hope from this moment on your life and your everything in your life changes. So more to speak. Have a great week and we'll uh, see you uh, next Friday. Thank you all for showing up and bless you. Bye-bye.